And just they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. It's the blasted night, Captain. Don't. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Make her preserve us. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. With what I've bumped into in Kirkwall, nothing surprises me anymore. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmot was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous! Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Where there's one demon, there's usually more. Where do we start digging? I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the Magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Look at these guards. I doubt either of them has to worry about having pretty children. That's not what I meant. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her! I want him dead! My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elvin. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the Magistrate won't take our word over his. Why only elves? Why not human children as well? We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. A man who murders children won't survive long in the courts of Kirkwall. No! Don't you understand? If you take him in, he'll be free again by nightfall! 
For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? They won't go in after him. They're stalling, trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the Magistrate will have your head. Better men have tried, and failed. Horribly. Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. How did you escape your dastardly kidnapper? Kick to the groin, sand in the eyes, rock to the head? Kelder? No, he let me go. I tried to make it to the entrance, but I hid when those creatures showed up. I thought I heard him calling for me. I almost went back to him. I didn't want to be eaten. But Kelder, he was... He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. I'll have to remember to use that. A demon made me do it. There are a lot of cruel people out there, Princess. Completely demon-free. But it's true. How else could he do something like this? She is a child and does not understand. Her pity is admirable, but misplaced. Kelder is dangerous, Leah. If he fights back, I can't promise he won't get hurt. He won't fight you, I promise. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me, and what I've done, hidden away. Not hard enough, so it seems. The Magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help, to stop me. But he can't. No one can. That elf girl... She had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her. She was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good, so pure? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful, while blaming demons that aren't there. He's just mad. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. I'm not getting paid enough for this. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. He sees the truth of it. Allow me to grant his wish, if you will not. Any last words before he kills you, Kelder? Tell my father. I'm sorry. You 
You saved her. My little girl. I didn't dare hope... Did you find that monster? Is he dead? We could bring him back as the undead and then kill him again. No, that's all right. I'd rather he stay dead. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Price and Trusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where'd the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed, and dragons came through. There was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. You'd better get going. Try not to get eaten. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Seems we've another dragon to slay. Here I was hoping to get back to Kirkwall in time for happy hour. I was a beast then. A werewolf. I did many terrible things. I... I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, Elf. Of Zathrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. He was cursed. You can't blame him for that. You stand up for him? Fine. Then you will die for him. It didn't have to come to this. Take this. And thanks. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What's a Shemlin? It is the elven word for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. So you say, frequently. We remember who the people truly are, even as you city elves forget. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marithari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marithari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Your guards said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind. To the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? 
I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Belinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anathera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements. But it will sort itself out in time. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I've lived in Kirkwall for a year now. It's a good place to get a fresh start. Really? I hope you're right. We should go. Your task is for Asha Belinar. It's not wise to make her wait. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time? The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet, and we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No, not personally. 
My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Ashabella now wind up in little pieces, hanging from the trees. Let's get this over with. The Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. I imagine it's difficult to give away something nobody wants. All Keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a Keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know. But if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. Please, keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. I've done a little fighting before, but it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience. I can open the way forward. One moment. Blood magic? Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? The barrier is gone, certainly. Nobody ever denied that blood magic was useful. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Ahare namalana sale. Emma ira au bella zeviranan. Isalahamin vinanhim tofilas. In Uthanera Narivas. Ah, and here we are. A witch. It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Under Anatishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing 
to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. A fragment? You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. You are no simple witch. Figure that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations. But you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken. But are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear boy. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. What should I do? Do as I do. Become a dragon. <laughs> you could never be a dragon. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Maseranus Ashabellina. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks, and my sympathy. Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Gareth Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Elganar. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. Of course. 
But only because you used that you kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. 